Welcome back, everyone, to the next installment of Corpse Party. We just hit a sort of extra ending and kind of a snag. So I'm going to go back to... The earliest save file I have in which I'm presented with a choice. Because everything I did after the bathroom scene really kind of played itself out. The only other choice I had was, have you come here to kill me? Yes got me killed, no got me extra ending, so... I'm going back to the bathroom if I can. See what happens, right? See, this is where we heard Yuka, and we're getting ready to find her. And no, I cannot skip this. Yuka! Mm-hmm. So then we keep going. Past the staff room. Then we hear the prompts to go toward the bathroom, which we now know that Naomi is currently hanging in. Mm. On the verge of her neck snapping anyway, if we have anything to do about it. Because remember, that actually happened. So we go up. We see Naomi. There was not much we could do here. We got the phone now. So then we have to pick it up. So you know how this goes. We go through all this. Sorry if it sounds a little corny that I'm rushing this. We hear Naomi's mom, but we've been over this already. I'm just bringing you con- Normally I'd cut this part out and cut straight to the bathroom, but I'm kind of trying to bring back the context in brief form. Now remember, we gotta pick up the phone so we can save our life later. Because you can walk away without picking up this phone. So this goes in our pants pocket, and when we eventually get Seiko's, it'll go into our breast pocket and save us. So, bathrooms, boys' bathroom. I just want to check it in case. I don't think there was anything going on in the boys' bathroom, but I just want to cover all the bases. Right. Okay, so. Onward, here, gossip. In we go. Further inward. Further inward. Further inward. And still further. Let me wrap up the rest of this conversation. Tee hee, touch him in the crotch. They started a fight. So the door shut and locked. And there is no indication that anyone's inside. So we walk away and wait! Okay, now I start paying attention. <gasps> yeah, if I choose not to kick in the door, if you try leaving the bathroom, he'll say, no, I can't do this. So you're obligated to kick down the door. Now I'm going to pay attention to the options. We know finding an object to stand on is not going to end well, so I'm going to try to hold her up, because that seemed to get me somewhere before. Push against the walls, try that. Not working, okay. All it does is tighten the rope's grip, that's no good. So we go back, okay, so hold her up. Hoist her on her shoulders, that worked last time. So it looks like it looks like we're starting to breathe. Now this is where standing on the bucket at feet got her killed. So reach behind to unfasten? I don't know. Maybe. That's fading out. That's already a different step. While supporting now on your shoulders with her upper body drooping between the back wall of the bathroom and his head. I'm not liking the dot dot dot. It's gonna be like, and you screw up anyway. So touch reach behind him and fiddle with the knots. Somehow or other, he managed to loosen the rope's grip? Wow! Really? I'll believe it when I see it. 
This is Corpse Party. <laughs> Wait, no me. Scut really? Yes, you could it. It's so you could cook you to the end. Really? Wow, so I stepped into a bad ending without realizing that it was a bad ending. I thought Naomi just had to die. Oh, that's right, right. For a second, I was about to say, you're an idiot, but in this version of the playthrough, we have not yet seen Seiko's body in the next stall. So, he really wouldn't know what's wrong, except for the fact that she was hanging herself. Why the hell? We don't know. <laughs> Speak for yourself, Naomi. Yeah, too soon? That really was harsh, actually. That scene was brutal. He just blinks. That's great. Don't ask questions like that. People who say things like that might actually be possessed. I know you're not, but just fair warning. That wasn't like you. I can actually see how that might be taken in a positive way, but I'm going to stick with the, the more obvious kind option. Oh, he actually spat it out. Oh, so it wasn't really... I guess we heard the voice calling Seiko, so I guess it makes sense that Naomi might have been possessed to do so as well. My only question is where did the rope come from in both cases? Wow, so she had no idea she was hanging herself. That's freaking ridiculous. Ooh. Yeah, we did hear that. I know there's no way you could have known, but you shouldn't have asked that. Yeah, it's waiting. Yeah. Let's just uh, take a peek right next door, why don't we? Uh, they do. Seriously. Like, hanging is one of the creepiest ways to die. Like, for other people that see the body. It's really dark. That that might be selective memory because she saw Seiko moments before she died, and Seiko's last word was her name, which is even worse. I didn't even press anything for Satoshi's response. That was just like the game's timing. That's never happened before. Like that was how important that line was at that timing. 
その自分で首をつっていたのは That does help. That actually makes me feel a lot less like a total ass from the first chapter. Because, man, did I get hit with the guilt trip right there. But now it may not have been our fault. Probably not. I mean, yeah, the, the evidence to the contrary is kind of staring us in the face, even though. In reality, it wasn't her, but it sure as hell looks like it was to them. Oh, was it the ghost in the red dress? Because the others don't do much talking. Oh, wait, no, it was that paranormal investigator person. And she talked to me. She. Pyro. Kinetic powered me, and then let me leave, bitch. Well, yeah, seriously, you're just trapped in here. Like you're, you're kind of gonna go crazy. Like I'm sorry. I actually kind of want to see a scene where they try the woods and they come back out the other side and like wind up back at the school again. I would not even be slightly surprised if that happened. Oh good! You've learned your lesson. Maybe if you'd learned that earlier, Yuka wouldn't be with the murderer right now. Speaking of, better get on that. Yeah, speaking of the closed space, remember, in the last installment, we did have Miss Yui, Yushiki, and Naomi, and Satoshi converge, which I didn't think really should have happened. Or, no, Yushiki wasn't there, but he was with her earlier. I didn't think that could have happened. But remember, these chapters may not be converged in this version of the playthrough. Maybe not. Satoshi is with Naomi, which already shows something, but remember, the last installment was kind of an alternate reality, as it turned out. Yeah, ghosts did say there may be a way to transport uh, across the closed spaces, but I don't know how you would do that. And the paranormal investigator said she couldn't talk about it. そういえば、校舎の雰囲気が違うな。心をかき乱す衝動。それでいいのです。行きなさい。思い人の元へ。お、thinking <笑> <laughs> Bitch. So da. Ore mo saki. Kokou sei kurai no joshi no rei ni atte. Kiyo ushinatta ra koko ni itanda. Wakanai. Kedo. Satoshi. Tajiu kukan wo tobi koete kita to ka. So then it is plausible that Miss Yui could have done the same thing. Tajiu kukan ka. Yeah, nearly impossible for them to meet, implying not completely possible. And yeah, what was that flash? Naomi, this is not the time to be hiding anything from anybody. Like, look where we are right now. Yeah, back in chapter one. And now she's with a lunatic, however corporeal he may be. 
Oh, we know. We got our eyes stabbed out. I still can't get over that. Yeah, the walkway between the two wings. We better hurry our asses up. I guess we're gonna leave Seiko's body. We kind of have to, but I feel weird. There really isn't much you can do. Ah, oh, that's true. I was thinking her leg, but that's a good point. Ooh, it was that. Oh, we don't need this right now. Son of a bitch. Yeah, good. Let's take her back to the infirmary. Hopefully in Satoshi's version, it doesn't suck. But then again, I think Satoshi might be in Naomi's world, in which case it would suck. Where's that ghost? In fact, this is Naomi's version, because the rubbing alcohol is gone. So where's the lunatic ghost that's going to chase us and kill us? It's got to be here. Am I right? We should never split up. You stay here. I, I know she's unconscious, but think about that. <sighs> God damn it, the decisions I have to make. The annoying decisions I have to make. <sighs> Still nothing to say here. Nothing to see here. Still can't investigate that at all. Ugh. <sighs> and not much I can do. Nothing new. I guess I gotta try finding Yuka. I was kinda hoping Naomi would team up with me so we could get that purple sparkly. Guess that's not happening, even after all that. Yeah, yeah, he says the game is reminding you just in case. Speaking of which, thank you. It's still shut! Oh, yeah, we noticed this last time. So now I guess it's about Miss Yui, right? Yeah, why is there a wall? I can't go through it. So we got the same infuriating development. But what happens now that Naomi's in bed? What is that, a rope? Is that his little sister? <laughs> you dick. <laughs> he was destined to be a killer. I'm calling it now. He killed the hamster. I'm calling it now. He killed the hamster, but he made it look like an accident or something, so he wasn't blamed. Really? Wow, he's just gonna straight up kill it in front of her. Looks like I gave him too much credit. And he did it too? <laughs> hey game, uh, don't show us this please. Don't you nothing me, you little asshole. <laughs> God damn. Wow. Calls his sister a stupid bitch. This guy. Even as a kid, he was off the wall. Wow. Wow, this family. 
That's quote worthy right there. Wow. This guy's a dick. Wait a minute. He was telling Yuka he was looking for his sister. I thought he meant he also had a little sister, but he's probably hunting his freaking sister down right now. Wow, this guy's a freaking nut. Or maybe I was wrong and it's even creepier. Bad news. Bad, bad news. He might not kill Yuka. And now I'm kind of wishing he did. Instead. Remember, she's 14. Uh oh. Talk about a rock in a hard place. Whatever was in the bathroom probably would be worse than Kizami, to be fair. But Kizami's still gonna kill your ass! They're all full? She still hasn't gone? God damn! A whole chapter of not going to the bathroom. This is her plot. What's gonna happen to him? Whoa. Whoa, they're full, alright. They're all full of hanging bodies. What in the hell? And the doors are bloody on the outside. Yeah, even Kazami's like, uh, <laughs> I'm playing as him? A whole lot of red dried blood stains all over it. What? A compact mirror with sticky bloody handprints? Ugh. I was wondering if I take it, like, I get a reward for, like, finding it. It's coated in some sort of unidentifiable mucus. This goddamn game. Now here's the bonus round. Who's in here? The body's too near the stall door. Every time I try to open it, it just slams into the corpse and bounces closed. And we are better for it. Let's try again. Let's try again. Oh. Hey, hey! Let's try again. Actually, is there anything different? Okay. Let's try again. Yay! Best for. Uh, one more time to see if anything changes. Last time! I love how- I, I, I seriously love how even Kazami is just a little freaked out by that. He's just like, ugh, what? I can't leave. Ugh. Did I say freaked out? I meant impressed. God damn it, Kazami. <laughs> this is the part where Yuka leaves. Wait, am I gonna play as Yuka? I hope so, because that involves running the hell away from here. What? <laughs> you know, I just realized, maybe never mind. Yuka's a little girl, and this guy is an adult who can sprint. This is not gonna end well. It can't. Oh, don't touch me. Oh my god, do not touch me. Look at that face! Where is he going with this? Uh, always having too much fun. Meanwhile? Oh! This is where she ran to. <laughs> Going back to room 1A, really? 
Yeah, you don't want to stay in the other building. Alright. I'll take a save point. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> Whoa, hello. Was that the- that must have been the one who got away, right? She's the only ghost who hasn't actively tried to kill us. Yeah, remember the, uh, the first installment when you fir when you first saw that girl sitting against the wall looking creepy? And then the chalkboard started writing and you got more and more we got the hell out of there before it finished? All it was was a drawing of the man with scissors chasing the kids. I think that's a benevolent ghost. Who we're playing now. Treat tomorrow like a certain day. If you're alive now, trust that you'll still be alive then. If I recall, it's Tachibana's turn for day duty tomorrow. I want to go back to class. I hate the idea that I might not be able to ever again. I swear I'll take my schoolwork more seriously from now on. Yeah, alright. Alright, Seigo- Oh, Tanaka, okay. I just can't go that way. I wanted to hit to a save point. Hopefully I still can. Wait, if we're heading out this way, are we gonna run into Satoshi? We're still in a different dimension, so no, is my guess. If you've got a hunch there's something nearby, use the X button. <laughs> never give up, never surrender. I didn't say that last part. Oh, there's an X button opportunity. Well, Yuma, guess this is as far as you go. Exhaustion is set in, so it looks like it's the end of the road. My classmate Tomoe Mizuki climbed the fence around the outdoor walkway and slipped into the woods. Oh, maybe we'll see what happens. It's been three days and she hasn't come back. All the while I've been stuck here getting chased around with the ghost of a girl with nothing above her jawline. And I've not only twisted my ankle, but also got glass cuts all over my wrist, so I'm in no condition to keep running. I keep hearing this snip, snip, snip sound of scissors everywhere I go. I can't tell if it's real or if it's ringing in my ears. I wish I'd just die already, get it over with so I could finally rest. Maybe I can have my head cut off of the jaw like that lit. Ugh. It just ends. This person died recently. Hi, it's the angry one. Hi. Ugh. Yeah, pro tip, don't die. By the way, where am I going? Custodian's office, I still can't go in there, and I never can. Good darn it. What I want to hit right now is a save point, though. Because it's getting to be about that time. And this ghost is just sitting there angry. I wonder if it's going to end up doing anything. Oh yeah, this. I'll show it off later, but I could have gotten a, a loose board in Chapter 3. Uh, to get a name tag over there. I don't know if I can anymore, and I don't think it would have stayed, because each chapter seems to appear to be treated separately. Congratulations on your arrival! Our most heartfelt blessings we offer to thee! We'll be anxiously awaiting your death, and once everyone's dead, that's when we'll be all able to meet again! And then the con- Really? Really? Huh. Oh! Hi! A middle schooler name. Uh, I'm gonna go back real quick because the only thing left that I did not explore was the entrance way, and that's a very quick dead end room. And plus, I also want to see what that poster is on the wall. No more victims' memoirs, I see. Entrance way is let me guess locked. Yaha. Uh -huh. What did that say? Poorly crafted models and some sick recreation for an exhibit. Jeez. Even the text boxes are getting melancholy. When you die in this accursed place, you've experienced the pain and suffering for all eternity, your soul will never be released from its misery. Yeah, so that person is like, maybe I'll finally die and get peace. <laughs> nope. That's why I feel bad for Yuka after getting stabbed in the eye. I can't get that out of my head, and it's been like days since I've played that part. Hey, hey! We have a winner! Come on, alright. 
Check that storage media. Check that storage media. Boosh! And now that we made that bit of progress, I can stop the installment. Well, we certainly made a lot of progress today, and holy crap, we saved Naomi's life, and nothing bad happened as a result. I can't even friggin' believe it. We have changed characters, though, so we just don't meet that mystery girl in the infirmary, and we just don't meet Miss Yui. I wonder if she's still gonna come about. I really hope she does, because she had a badass ending in Chapter 2. That said, we still need to do something about Yuka, because she is in such a bad situation. At this point, we're just waiting for Kazami to go off the deep end, and it does not look like he's very far. At all. Ooh, I hope we do something about this real soon. Until next time, everyone.